So, all right, we're on to the next one. Conservative teens, liberal parents. So I don't know what the prompt is yet, but, like, Me liberals, either. I'm sorry, are the worst, literally the worst. So let's see <laughs> what the hell this is. If you we agree started on that foot. The government has no right to tell people what to do with their body. Ooh. Vaccines. That's... <laughs> he out your face! Yeah, I don't think the government has the right to tell you what you want to do with your- I'm gonna step back, sorry. Okay. I stood here because of <laughs> vaccines, but I know a lot of you guys probably look at me like, oh, what about abortion? Now the thing is, when it comes to abortion, two bodies are involved. It's the woman and it's the fetus. The fetus, you know, has a heartbeat, it has DNA. It should have rights. When? Well, Life begins at conception. That's not when the heart's there. Though. Heartbeat starts at four weeks. It's not just a clump of cells. It is life. Oh, my God. <laughs> you good? You good? I just, <laughs> here we go. The fucking, this is when a heart forms. This is when the brain forms. This is when, bleh, bleh. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> wow. Sorry. It's just reducing uh, he noise. Came, he, 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 came, <laughs> he came in really thinking, he was like, I'm going to say some shit. And they go, mm. I, I don't like how guy this guy's like the, the disapproving dad that's look, still looking at me like. <laughs> they can live outside of the womb. Abortion ends with murder and death. Over 90% of abortions happen within the first 10 weeks. That's still, I think that's not acceptable. But they still have the potential of having life though. The mortality rate of a fetus getting aborted is 100%. It's gonna die when it's aborted. And you're very but, lucky you'll never have to experience what it's like to have to make that choice. Mm. But what if I what if I what if I become a father and you know the woman who I got pregnant you, wants to have an abortion? I, it's gonna affect me. You would have a discussion with your partner then uh, and decide what you're gonna do uh, and be glad that you have a choice of to, course, to but, even discuss with that partner. Unfortunately, human nature, if you take away the option or the right to do that, then they'll find it another way. And it will be unsafe. And uh, so would you support the mom? Would you support the mom in that scenario? If the mom had an abortion or the no, mom no, went... No, 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 if she gave birth. Oh, of course. I would support her. I'd say what you do is a good thing. And no, 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 no. Support her financially for the rest of her life or for the rest of the baby's life. Are you talking about, like, what, what do you mean me support her? Like, if as a citizen? Or if somebody <laughs> has a baby... <laughs> Yo, I like how like he put it on him. Would you support her? He all of a sudden could understand. Like, oh, would you support in in what way? Like pay for their toothpaste? He's like, I would support a decision, and the guy's like, not financially. The guy's yeah. like, wait, 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 like yeah, yeah, put your money where your mouth is. Like I mean, now he's like, this, wait. We've had this discussion like I guess in private before. And all of them are talking just like wild right now. So I don't agree with any of them. Maybe that girl on the end, but like. Like, oh, it's a choice. Yeah, your choice not to conceive was to have sex or not. Dun, dun, dun. Bye. Controversy take it at night. We do have child support and it comes from taxpayer money. There's foster care, there's adoption, there's mothers waiting. Those systems are very broken and people all the time are trying to stop funding for programs like that. Now, I want to ask you guys, do you, do you support vaccine mandates? Yes. So, so I mean, you, you stepped forward and said the government shouldn't tell you what to do with your body, though. Why, why would you support? My issue is, is that I believe that the government should not be able to tell me what to do with my body, but I have to accept the consequences for the choices that I make with my body. The vaccines, for instance, I absolutely felt that everyone should get vaccinated. Why? Because this was a pandemic. But if you don't want to, I don't think the government should have to tell you that you have to. But you then have to suffer the consequences of your choices, I'm which means you cannot the consequences put places. in place you by the people that are telling you to get the vaccine risk. in the I first know, place. Yeah, you're doing it. Oh, was that like saying that people in the vaccine? <laughs> the consequences that are put in place by the people that are trying to vaccinate you in the first place. Hmm. The consequences that wouldn't exist if the vaccine didn't exist. What do you mean? You're li so literally like, oh, everyone has a choice. I think you should get a vaccine. But if you don't want to, you should suffer the consequences. And the consequences are whatever I say because I'm a vaccine. Like, that's how <laughs> liberals look to me, honestly. They're crazy. To protect us. But the, co the right coronavirus now. has, a, I think, a survivor of almost 98%, 99%. And we're mandating these vaccines. Why are we not mandating the flu? What's frightening to me is that you're equating some minor inconveniences in your privileged life to why would you assume uh, my life is unsupported. Privileged? But why would you assume um, my life is privileged, though? You don't know my life. Why would, I, I mean, I don't say that about you. Why would you assume my life is privileged? I'm, I'm privileged. Okay, that's fine. But why, why would you assume my life is privileged? For one, you're a man. You know, most people commit suicide are men. Most people who work in dangerous workplaces are men. Most people okay, fighting Chris. war are men. And who set that system up? Yeah. Damn! Damn! 
he really thought he was doing something. And she just threw that shit right back in his face. She was ready with that answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she saw how calm she was. She was like, and who said that system up? She's obviously had this conversation before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the disagreeers to step forward. Well, I think I give a unique perspective on this because I actually do agree with the vaccine mandate. I think COVID was just a huge disaster, and I think it could have ended a lot sooner if things were more organized. Definitely. As far as whether the government should intervene on people's bodies, I think there are a lot of instances where the government should. One, to protect the society in general, especially in cases such as a pandemic where um, the disease could literally wipe out cities. In other instances as well, such as drug where use. Where did the disease I think come the government from? government should intervene because when you have a society China. that's addicted to opioids or crack, Humans. it spreads like wildfire. And I've seen it Human firsthand. Made. It's very difficult to control without the help of government. Now, on the topic of abortion, that one's, you know, very complex. And in general, I always want to favor a woman's right to choose. But I think there's also a very fundamental question that both of you brought up is um, at what point is a fetus a human or a person? Let's say a, a child is eight months in the womb. And at that point, the baby has a heart. The baby has a brain, has legs, has arms. Do you think it's okay for that to be terminated? In your nobody opinion? is doing that. And nobody is having abortions with viable fetuses unless it is a where medical emergency that will kill the baby and the mother. Oh, where's the stat for that one, honey? <laughs> You're wrong. Like, yeah, um, we're gonna just, well, oh. the one thing I wanted to bring up is they were only talking about the vaccine and abortions, right? And like, those are big mm -hmm. topics, but the prompt was the government has no right to tell you what to do with your body. No one was out here like, I can get whatever tattoo I want. Government's not mandating that. Government's also not out here telling me that I can't identify as a paraplegic and cut my own arms off. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You're like, you're only talking about True. two very specific things. And like, it's kind of like, I get it. But like, that's not what the prompt said. That's like, you're bringing in your issues to this mm. discussion when the discussion was actually about something way bigger. And you decided to focus on those two things, I guess, because someone said it first and ro roll with that. I don't know, but. And also, this was probably cut. It's probably much longer. But I definitely would have been like, why are we talking about this? This is not what the prompt was. But if you want to talk about it, if you want to talk about my take, um, as you should know, literally as soon as I... Like, I love the build up. Like the, <laughs> as you should know. <clears throat> uh, let's say, like, this is an egg, right? As soon as the sperm breaks through the wall... Which is also crazy because it's not the first sperm that gets there. It's not the fastest one. It's welcome to Alexia sex egg class, y'all. You're welcome. It's it's the sperm that like m that the egg accepts that like matches like genetically with this with this egg. So it's not the first one, but anyway, it's, it breaks in the into the outer layer or whatever. Science, Mister Mister Science over here. Um, <laughs> as soon as it does that. It emits a small, like, flash of light. And that that's conception. It's literally, and we can get spiritual or religious, and I'm going to get religious, but, like, that is when God gave that life. So you can be out here and be like, well, it doesn't have a heart. Like, it's crazy that you say that because you agree that plants are alive and they don't have a heart either. And they've been alive for tens of thousands of years. So now we have to define what life is. And this abortion topic is obviously not what, what I want to talk about. But, like, the point is, that's when life begins at, at conception. That light, we are all actually, like, glowing. And we used to glow more. And the people that are enlightened and, like, Jesus Christ, those depictions of, like, that halo around his head, that's not just, like, for show or for, like, paintings. Like, he was literally glowing. Like, have you ever heard, like, the scientists that are like yeah human beings glow but our glow over the centuries has diminished we're still glowing not like glow in the dark but you know like our cells are literally emitting light when they like are communicating and moving and stuff like that and not just your brain cells like our actual like every atom in our body mm -hmm. um so not enough for the human eye to like see it but anyway the point is as soon as that sperm gets inside the egg that light that light is the, is the life you know what i mean and I know a bunch of people that are, like, pro-choice. They're going to be like, ah, and then I'm just going to go back to, like, then don't fuck. Stop having sex if you don't want to have a kid. Don't, not, don't come out here and be like, but it feels good, but I'm addicted, but I can't. Weak. You look weak. If you are not ready to have a child, stop fucking everything. 
Or use your hands. Leave us alone. Like, <laughs> Dang. Goodbye. Mind struggle, y'all. Good night. Uh, <laughs> before we uh, just going back a little bit, not on masturbation, but about the light. Um, I also saw a study where, uh, where is it? I think the people who do the the autopsies, like at a morgue. Uh, I don't know what you call coroners. Yeah, there you go, the coroners. Like they'll notice that, like, or like you know, in a hospital as well, when somebody dies, and a human life like dies, like their body becomes like I forget how many grams like lighter. Yes. But nothing in their body yeah. was removed. Everything that's is still intact. True. Yeah, and but that's like the soul leaving because that's that life yeah, that's guys, gone, just like that light. Yeah. So I both definitely of those think things that's are true. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Trump supporters versus immigrants. Okay, but back in 2018, yo, if this was now, mm, let's see. it should be easier to immigrate into America. <laughs> I was like. Don't lie, all the immigrants. It should be easier. The wait time should be shorter, right? Yeah. But I, I believe that it's so lengthy, not because the process is so extreme. I, I mean, personally, I think it's so lengthy because it's mismanaged. Yes, I think that, too many like, hands in the cookie jar. It, well, that too, but I think it's just like there's a way and a process that should be put in place so it's not 15 years. Let's say that they fully cooperate, right? Let's say they have everything, they have all their documents, and they're ready. Yeah, I think it should be a lot shorter. So I think you're saying it make better. it less bureaucratic? Yeah, basically. Okay. I mean, I think I would agree with that. I just feel like when it comes to Trump, you support the individual, but then the bureaucracy, the administration, all of that is so painstaking and just so inefficient. And in all of this, it doesn't really compute for me. So I think I'm. Well, we've only been in there a year, right? For I me, mean, yeah. I mean, and we have so many changes that we want to make. So let's talk about a couple of policy things. We, what about the Muslim ban or the travel ban? The travel ban to me was more of a well, it was something it was that was created Obama's by Obama ban. anyway. <laughs> so was, but yeah. it was enacted it by was Trump. Enacted don't by don't Trump. get me wrong. Yeah. I agree with the travel ban, right? And I agree with refugees. But that's two separate things to me. So what I'm trying to say is that none of these policies that are happening are not to do with one another. They're all intertwined. When we say we support the travel ban, but we also support refugees, but we also want to like help them get vaccinations, and we also want to do this, and we also want to do Well, don't forget, we're funding the same bombs that are causing the Yemenis to have to become refugees. But there has to be a reason, right? So, so it's Yemen. so it's all it's all good, it's all connected, right? So, so like, why are we bombing Yemen? Personally, I haven't looked into Yemen. I guess I'm missing your point. It, 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 refugees, you support. Yes. Travel ban, Muslim ban, you support. It's not uh, a Muslim. It's ban, not a Muslim ban. Yes. I support a travel ban so we can assess who's coming in. Wait, I just think it's important to contextualize. Like you're saying, nothing sure. happens in a vacuum, yeah. right? And I think that if we start to actually connect the dots like I'm encouraging us to do, mm -hmm. then it'll become a lot more understandable. I mean, I don't believe in bombing anyone. Any comments at the moment? Um, I'm not into politics or policy at all, so I'm a little lost on this one. Same. I'm just going to let it play out then. I, try, I wasn't sure if you had to say, something to say, so I was like, yeah, I'll give you the opportunity. But all right, let's keep it rolling. I would like to uh, answer your question Thank about you. why we're bombing Yemen. We're not bombing Yemen. We're bombing radical jihadists in Yemen who are killing people. That's why we're bombing parts of Yemen selectively to kill people who are doing terrible, terrible things. And there's a tremendous amount of rape happening in England. Taking yeah, I'm these so happy that comment came up because that's literally what I was thinking when he said what he said. Like, we aren't bombing Yemen. We are just bombing parts of Yemen. Wait, but like, he's sitting on the side of immigrants. Who is this? Uh, I think this guy is a Trump supporter. Why are they sitting all over the place? I can't keep track of these people because I don't know who they are. I'm sorry, Alexia. Why, does, why is he not sitting on the other side? I've Jubilee, do better. It's confusing, <laughs> Alexia. Please. I'm trying to follow. I'm, obviously, he's not an immigrant because of what he said, but I'm like, why is he sitting next to her? I'm so confused. Well, if it helps, I've noticed that when whoever's speaking, they put their name and where they stand right underneath their name. So they'll say Trump supporter or immigrant, like right under their name. Obviously. Whoever's speaking. So maybe that helps. Just saying. All right. I'm not looking at the screen and there's things blocking it and it takes forever to pause it. <clears throat> mm, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. 
first world problems. <clears throat> grooming them mm -hmm. because they feel they have the right to do it. We don't want that here. Absolutely not. Those are things we don't want in the United States. No. And one other thing. There's that, people with predatory behavior in every. Excuse me. We, we but, don't want it everywhere. It, we don't it, want it anywhere. If I could oh, say exactly. this, and so, you'll yeah. get mad at me, but if I could say this, it's not baked into their religion. There are 109 passages in the Quran where people are told to kill the the infidels and, and Christians and Jews. There's nothing like that in our Bible or He's in the Bhagavad wrong, Gita though, so or in anything Buddha taught like... or any other religion. Go ahead, Alexi. I saw your face you didn't perk hear me? up. I heard a little bit. So I was, he was just saying some crazy stuff. So I, was doing, you know, I said he's not little. wrong. And it's like... Mm. No one wants to set, wants to have that conversation, not even the Trump supporters. But it's like I've been having this this little not fight, but like this little controversy in my head for a while now. And this is like kind of pulling it out into the open. But we're so scared to like uh, start a fight or offend people. But like all of us, including me. And what's happening, though, is like we're not standing up for what's like right anymore. But. Then when we do, then everyone's like, well, justify it. Why is yours right and mine's not? So, like, okay, but. Well, I also think a lot of people, I want you to finish your point just really quickly. Like, when that happens, are so quickly, they'll be like, well, we can't agree to disagree, so we're going to go our separate ways. That's Like, that seems true. to be the solution to everything. And it's like, why can't we still, like, stand side by side, just have different viewpoints? Because we're not the same person. We're different individuals. That doesn't mean that we can't coincide or coexist with one another still. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, okay. So, I mean, I've never read the Quran, so when this Trump supporter is quoting how many passages say that murdering fellow or murdering Christians is completely okay, I can't, I don't know, I, I'll fact check him later, but, like, mm. my point is he's not lying, right? Like, even if the number's off, like, he's he's telling the truth. But everyone in that room except for him is like, oh, no, we can't oh, go in here. No, we can't. It's like, why? Well, we tiptoeing around. Exactly. It. Like, we're in this space. Jubilee, you agreed to be on this show. And here we are. So, like, why can't we talk about it? Yeah, I agree. It's like, like so you have to offended. risk being offensive. Yeah, but it's like, okay, but if we're go just going to tiptoe around each other for the rest of our lives, then that's why there's no, like, one dominant religion in a sense because each religion's too scared to, to be like mine's right or the muslims just come in and kill you if if you don't agree with them so i don't know yeah i will say and we'll continue it but uh just from an observation standpoint i feel like they're going way off on a tangent from what the original prompt was like, now it's getting into, like, specific religions and stuff. But they are, but I think that the Muslim girl in this and the blonde Trump older guy, I think both of them are just, like, way on the opposite, like, side of the extreme. And they're the ones that are pushing this conversation there. Mm. Like, the blonde girl was trying to be like, well, I want to talk about this. And the Muslim girl was like, but you don't. And it's like, what the fuck? And then the <laughs> guy came in and he was like, well... And then it just oh, like went downhill from there. Religion I'm aware of in the yeah. world. Until people renounce those values, then they scare me. I don't think, so I haven't renounced any part of my religion in front of you. So I hope that you don't feel threatened by me. So I'm like, not sure what you mean by that. And I won't renounce any part of Islam. The point that I'm trying to make is that you didn't really answer the question. No, he did. He said the reason it, why we're bombing Yemen, Yemen is to save the people. Because I'm assuming that in Yemen, and we've got some we bad guys in there. the reason we want a travel ban is to keep out people like that. Guys, remember, this is a video about Trump and immigrants. We're mixing too much the religion. Thank you. Well, I think the when race. it comes with the travel I know, ban, Yes, 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 but you religion. shouldn't question somebody's religion. I am very religious, very religious. Sure. And I'm not putting anything about my religion in here. I'm here to talk about me as an immigrant. You guys are here to talk about Donald Trump like supporting him. Sure. And yes, I've learned a lot. Like you guys are human too. You have values. You who would have thought, you know, that we would have found <laughs> a common ground and we we wouldn't like hit each other right here, you know, because after the media portraying you guys as bad or 
us as terrorists, whatever. You're right. I think the media is portraying yes. us all in a different um, light. Yes. I think that we're portraying ourselves in a very different light, too. I mean, I feel very attacked just now mm -hmm. for my religion when I did come exactly. here to talk about myself as an immigrant. Yes, but that's you, what I'm saying. But you kept talking about the travel ban, it's a Muslim ban, that it's a Muslim ban. That has to do with immigration. And it's not but, a Muslim ban. But what I'm trying to just say is that no one should have to explain Muslim, Christian, Jewish, none of the above, what they are to you. But Muslims continuously have to defend not only their religion, but their humanity. It's funny, the girl was okay. like, did exactly what you said. She's like, we're here to talk about this. And then the Muslim girl was like, yeah, but Muslim! <laughs> <laughs> she just like, she's like the type of person, like in general, that you just cannot talk to. She's probably one of the worst like people to have on the show. And it's not because it's like, oh, it's controversial and she could know all she's going to talk about is her being Muslim all day, no matter what the question is. You could literally be like, um, do you prefer clouds or sun? And she'll be like, well, Allah, blah, 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 blah. Wow. <laughs>